Good morning, friends. We are back with another Coffee Time review. I have another sampling from Mystic Monk. Uh, this is their single origin Fair Trade Ethiopian, 100% Arabica, of course, from Ethiopia. Got a cool little picture of some, some monks here and then hard at work roasting the coffee in the abbey there. This one's been sitting around for a couple weeks, so I'm excited to try it. Let's just make it easy with some scissors. Ooh, chocolatey smelling right off the bat. Uh, these are some smaller looking beans. Hmm, spicy, chocolatey, hmm. very interesting. Let's uh, brew some of this up and check it out. All right, a nice light colored crema coming up here. So you can tell that it's a, like a lighter medium roast. Mm, smells creamy. Continues with that chocolate. Maybe a hint of like some graham cracker, and some spices, cinnamon comes to mind. All right. Beautiful crema. I mean, look at. And look at that. Whew. I mean, just look at that rim of like all oh, crema on there. Wow. Some on the top of the coffee there, too. Whoa. Totally different. I've asked St. Francis to join me for the for the review. Okay, now I'm getting notes of like a um, tobacco, bourbon. Whew, we're going to let this cool for a minute and check it out. I'm actually blown away by this coffee. It's unexpected. Um, this is uh, Mystic Monk sort of known for their blends. So I've done the Paradiso blend, I've reviewed the Thanksgiving blend and the Cowboy blend. Uh, I hate giving high scores, but this is probably gonna get one because I'm really surprised by this excellent single origin Ethiopian. I, I wish I had more information about what type of Ethiopian is. Resembles a pea berry by the size of how tiny the, the, the beans are, but it doesn't say anything like that. The fruit are. Okay, um, so yes, it's more musky, masculine. I think tobacco, I think um, maybe a bourbon. There's a, a vegetable undertone. Rhubarb, is that ridiculous? While still re retaining all the the chocolatey notes, a little bit of like a baking spice. It's a dry coffee, acidic, not crazy acidic, but acidic. And this is super drinkable. Um, the rhubarb note is probably the extent of the fruitiness. So From an Ethiopian, I like a little more fruit, but this has all the earth notes that you would expect from an Ethiopian roast. Man, I'm gonna give this a high score. I hate giving out high scores, especially in the sevens, but this is easily a seven, four. So excellent job, Mystic Monk. Gonna recommend this coffee. This is the best of the coffees that I've had from Mystic Monk. Ethiopian.
like, subscribe, all that business. Pray, hope, don't worry. Catch you later. Cheers.